Good morning, Tacoma New Life Church. Uh, today is Tuesday, February 1st, and we are on day four of the Bible reading plan, New Year, New Mercies. Right? Can you believe it? It's already February 1st, 2022. It's just flying on by. And in the midst of all that, right, God is still good, and God will continue to be faithful, even though things are moving at a what seems like a fast pace, right? The theme for today is is the best theology will not remove mystery from your life. So rest is found in trusting the one who rules, is all, and knows no mystery. All right? In the scripture, we are tasked with reading at some point today, right? If you're if you're being diligent about following this reading plan, is Isaiah chapter 40, verses 12 to 31. And, you know, for the sake of this video, that's actually kind of long. And so what we will do is we're, we are just going to read verses 25 to 31. But I would encourage you, highly encourage you, uh, to take time and just uh, meditate on the entirety of what we what is assigned to us today. But starting with verse 25, this is what it says. To whom then will you compare me, that I should be like him? Says the Holy One, lift up your eyes on high and see who created these. He who brings out their host by number, calling them all by name, by the greatness of his might, and because he is strong in power, not one is missing. Why do you say, O Jacob, and speak, O Israel, my way is hidden from the Lord, and my right is disregarded by my God? Have you not known, have you not heard, the Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth. He does not faint or grow weary. His understanding is unsearchable. He gives power to the faint, and to him who has no might, he increases strength. Even youths shall faint and be weary, and young men shall be exhaust, shall fall exhausted. But they who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Amen. You know, today in our devotional reading, our author shares a moment in his life where he was met with uh, a very challenging time uh, in regards to an accident that his daughter was involved with. And so, you know, for better understanding uh, kind of what's going on in the scripture and why it's used and, and why it's important for us to trust God, uh, it, make sure you read that, that story. But in the sharing of that, his story, right, there is one thing that he shares that stands out, and that's our lives were not out of control. Right, as all these things were going on. He says, We were comforted again and again with the thought that when it came to Nicole's accident, his daughter, God was neither surprised nor afraid. You see, there is no mystery with God. He is never caught off guard. He never wonders how, it, how he is going to deal with the unexpected things. I love the words of Daniel 2, 22, and that says, He knows what is in the darkness and light dwells with him. You see, you see, in what appears to be moments of darkness in our lives, one of the things that we can hold on to or try our best to do is remember whenever we are faced with such trying moments and what might seem like a dark moment or a chaotic moment, right? God is with you, right? God is with us in your moments of darkness and your darkness isn't dark to God, right? I, I like that statement. Your darkness isn't dark to God. What is mysterious to you isn't mysterious to God. God understands all things, especially the things, the moments of life that confuse you the most. Like maybe you've been in a situation where you say, why is this happening to me? Or why is this happening to us? Why do I have to go through this? Right? Why am I faced with this difficult task? We've all been there. But the greater truth for us to understand, even in those moments where we ask those questions, is that in the midst of, of it all, right? In the midst of all these things that are taking place, God is in complete control. And it must be our aim to know that, to remember that, but most importantly, to trust Him through it all, right? To trust and know that God is in control, right? Even when it feels like we are out of control, even when it feels like our life is spiraling out of control, we must remember the one. We must trust the one who is in control of everything and all things. This morning in our scripture, Isaiah 40, 
focuses on who God is, right? What God has done to comfort the people of God. It focuses on God, how God has provided or how God provides a comforting promise of hope for the brokenhearted people of God. You see, God is incomparably powerful over all the things, or right? all these things, all and promises. Right? He, I'm sorry. God is incomparably powerful over all things, and He promises strength for endurance to the, all of those who will wait for Him, or who will wait on Him, or who will trust in Him. And you see, as you read through chapter 40 of Isaiah and get to the portion of Scripture we are tasked with reading, we are reassured that God is able to keep His promise because no opposition can compare with the Creator of all things. In other words, no one can compare to our God. You see, what God essentially communicates is, do you forget who I am? Are you forgetting what I have done? Are you forgetting in the midst of your struggles what I am capable of doing? You see, our God, who is the creator of heaven and earth, the maker of all things, God effortlessly rules over all things. So then what are we to do? How are we to respond? Or how are we to take that? In verses 27 to 31, right, it is it is faith in God. Well, I'm sorry, it is faith in God's promise that empowers his people for endurance. Right? God says he gives power to the faint and to him who has no might. He increases strength. In other words, in our weakness, God is increasing our strength because we are looking to him. We are trusting him. He also says, but they who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up like up, mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Right? The solution is simple. The solution is to turn to God, to trust in God, and to continually follow Him. The theme for today right, is the best theology will not remove mystery from your life. So rest is found in trusting the one who rules is all and knows no mystery. And so as you are faced with life's trials and what feels like a mystery, right, may you be reminded to trust in God, right, to trust God in the no, but would you also equally trust God in the unknown of your life? Because when it comes to God, right, he knows it all, right? Nothing surprises him. What is a mystery to us is not a mystery to him. Right? Having faith in God and His promises will be the very thing that empowers us to continue running this race with endurance. Because I can tell you this, when life gets tough, when life gets chaotic, one of the things our flesh wants to do is give up because it feels like we're running low. We're discouraged. But the key to overcoming that the discouragement, the key to keep running is not to look at ourselves and our circumstances, but to look and trust the one who is in control of our lives and can take us out of those difficult circumstances into more reassuring, more promising times. Church, I pray that the Lord will bless you and keep you. Um, May you reflect on all that we've talked about in day four's Bible reading plan. And until next time, may you go in peace. Amen and amen.